Hey guys, uh, Tedcast here with another um, iPod review with you today. Um, this video, you need to have a jailbroken iPod Touch with Cydia. If you don't, then just exit the video right now because I'm going to be re reviewing uh, three, well actually one Cydia application and two Cydia mods or tweaks if you prefer. So anyways, the first tweak, well, uh, I'm sorry. The first application I would like to review with you is entitled Backgrounder. You can get that from Cydia. You do not need to uh, add any sources. Backgrounder, some people may know Backgrounder from the application from Cydia Multiflow, which was the multitasking app for Cydia. Well, little do some people know. Okay, let me get into the story about Multiflow first. Um, Backgrounder is used to have applications running in the background and Multiflow le lets you switch between those applications but even without Multiflow Backgrounder is still a pretty decent application and here is why it's a great way to kickstart applications a good example is Cydia definitely how many of you are really 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 tired of having to wait for Cydia to load for 10 minutes a day I mean that is a big waste of time and what if you have to keep frequently going and you have to keep waiting for it? Well, actually, with background, you really don't have to be doing it that often anymore. See how background works is you go to any application you want and you just hold down the home button and you'll see a message that says backgrounding enabled. And that means that the application is running in the background so you can exit it and go to any application you want. And then you can come back and the application will go back to right where you left it. So, um... As you can see right here, here's about like two minutes of your life wasted because of city of loading. Okay, so by now it should be done loading. So if you exit the application and you do something, uh, what you do is you simply just, I'm sorry you can't see it right now, uh, simply just press and hold the home button. And then you'll see that message back backgrounding enabled. So now you can go to any application you really want. Let's go to the calculator for one. And say you just forget and remember, oh, I need to go to Cydia real quick for something, but it's going to take me forever. With Backgrounder, no it's not. Look how fast Cydia loads. Bam! Literally two seconds right there. Great application. You do not need Multiflow for that. Um, sorry, I do not currently have a good source for Multiflow right now. So, um, yeah, that's about it for that one. Okay, now this is a Cydia mod or tweak, if you prefer. Uh, it's not a very famous one. Uh, it's kind of pretty new. Well, actually, I don't know if it's famous or not, because I this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Uh, it's called InfiniFolders. Now, if you have the 4.0 firmware on your iPod Touch or iPhone, then you may know that the folder is actually limited to so many icons. And I think it's about 12. See, that's, this is the limit right here. But, when you install Infinite Folders, you can have any folder have as many applications as you want. Just like that. See these bottom four? These are extras that originally, without this little tweak, you could not have. It's just really cool, and it's a great way to replace uh, categories from Cydia because it's just very slow, and you know, respringing your iPod, iPhone, it's just a big pain, and you know, this is just great for you to simply move applications in here and fit as many as possible. Okay, and this final mod or tweak uh, is entitled Infinidoc. Infinidoc is a pretty good application, a lot of people have heard of it. Um, it allows you to have infinite icons in your dock and it even gives you the option to scroll through your dock now you have options to have between one to ten icons uh, obviously ten doesn't really look too good because it's you know really cluttered and doesn't really look too great but you can have a four one two three four five whatever five looks the best once you get to six i think it just starts looking pretty crappy you know, you can just scroll through. You can put as many icons as you want in here. As many icons as you want. And in order to configure some settings, like change uh, change how many icons you want in there, I have to go do is go to settings. 
and go down to you see Infinidoc. Go over here, icons per page, and you can select your icons per page. For example, I'll change it to seven. And a really big bonus for you guys is that it does not respring your iPod. So that is really good. Really good. So just press the home button. You see, it is, it is really cluttered, but um, like I said, I would recommend five or lower. I wouldn't go any higher because, you know, apps start overlapping and, you know, it gets harder to press them. So um, that is entitled Infinidoc. Uh, you can find it in Cydia. Uh, for this little tweak, you do need a source. Um, in the description uh, down below, I will be posting uh, uh, some sources that you can use to get Infinidoc. I'll be posting, uh, I think I know about maybe two or three. So that's basically about it. Change that back to five. Okay, so... There was Backgrounder. Uh, you do not need a source for that. Um, Infinite Folders. I believe you need a source for that. I will double check. And if you do not, then I will put that information in, in the description in the doobly-doo. And um, if so, then yes, I will put the source. Okay, uh, be sure to thumbs up this video, uh, leave a nice comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. This is iTabcast, signing out.